Hello and welcome. Let's talk about perforated peptic ulcer. Clinical features of perforated peptic ulcer. Symptoms include sudden onset of the severe of the upper abdominal pain in the epigastrium, initially in the right side of the abdomen and finally becomes generalized. Nausea and vomiting may be present and signs. Signs include patient is toxic with tachycardia, hypertension and tachypnea, abdominal distension, dehydration, shallow breathing, and restricted abdominal movement and broad like rigidity of abdomen. The upper border of liver dullness is obliterated, bowel sound is diminished or absent, and the radi radiological findings of the perforated peptic ulcer shows free gas shadow under the right domes or port domes of the diaphragm. Stages of perforation There are three stages. The first stage is the stages of chemical peritonitis, the second is the stage of the dilution or illusion. And third is the stage of the diffuse bacterial peritonitis in which the patient undergoes suck. Treatment of perforated peptic ulcer. Immediate resuscitation includes admission in the hospital, nothing by mouth, nasogastric suction, IV fluid administration, pantal antibiotics, pentoprazole, estuitor blockers, catheterization, and analgesics. And surgery is finally done, which includes laparotomy with repair of the perforation by intracorporeal suturing with thoro peritoneal toileting. The factors associated with poor outcomes after perforated peptic ulcer. Delay in diagnosis more than 24 hours, medical comorbidities, shock and increasing age more than 75 years. Differential diagnosis of PUD after perforation. Acute appendicitis, acute pancreatitis, acute cholecystitis, ruptured aortic aneurysm, myocardial infarction, mesenteric ischemia and pneumonia. End of the topic.